whenever patients uh, come to our office and want to talk about their aging eyes, they want blepharoplasty surgery, which is rejuvenation surgery of the eyelids, we always consider brow position and shape because that will significantly impact the appearance of your eyes. If the brows have fallen, which happens many times with the aging process, it'll cause a heaviness and a hooding of the upper eyelids. If in those patients we only remove the extra upper eyelid skin, the skin will be gone, but the patient will still have a heaviness and a hooding. As we see in this picture, the patient has had their upper eyelids done, but the brows are down. And if you look at the adjacent picture, all we've done is elevated her brows. So she should have had her brows elevated with or before the upper eyelid surgery was done. It's very important because if you don't do that, the patient does not really improve their appearance, which is the goal. We removed extra skin, but what difference does that make if they still have not achieved the look that they want, which is a more rested appearance? Certainly with all of this work, whether it be upper eyelid skin excision or we're doing the brows, it must be done conservatively. Many people are afraid of brow lifts because of the unfortunate results we've seen when the work was not done well and the patient looks like they're surprised 24-7. So it all is done conservatively, but the goal is to have a nice, gentle contour from the brows to the upper eyelids and a well-defined eyelid crease. So many times we combine the upper lid surgery with the brow lift operation. If a patient needs both upper eyelid excess skin excision as well as a brow lift, timing is very critical because if a patient has their upper eyelid skin excess removed, but they also need a brow lift, surgeon may not be able to come back and do a brow lift because there's not enough residual excess skin of the upper eyelids to permit elevation of the brows. So if there's any doubt, do the brow lift first, if not done in conjunction with the upper eyelid excess excision. 